Hello guys, in this video we're gonna learn how we can send HTTP requests through proxy server using Python. So first of all, let's try to understand what a proxy server actually is. So a proxy server is nothing but a man in the middle in the process of you sending a request to any web server and then receiving the response back from it. So let's try to understand it in a bit more detail by taking example of a classroom where are three students, let's say Alice, Bob and a third guy with a very weird name, let's say Proxy. So, um, Alice and Bob are not uh, on very good terms with each other, like they are not talking with each other nowadays, but Proxy is um, a common friend and he talks to everyone. So now, today, only Bob is carrying a watch in the class and let's say Alice wants to know what is the current time. So, she goes to Proxy and asks her to ask Bob what is the current time. So now, what Proxy does is, he goes to Bob and asks him what is the current time. And Bob replies that the time is 7 p.m. And then Proxy, on knowing what is the current time, goes back to Alice and tells her that Bob told him that the time is 7 p.m. So in this way, um, uh, Alice was able to know what is the current time without letting Bob know that it was she who wanted to know what is the current time right now, right? So this was a very simple example of a proxy server actually. A proxy server takes a um, request from a client, it, cre it keeps a record of the client's IP address let's say and the request that has been sent and then it forwards your request or the client's request to the um, desired web server. So now the web server will be assuming that the request has actually come from the proxy server. The web server will simply process it and return back the response to the proxy server and on receiving that response proxy server will dis determine to whom it has to send the response back and it will find out that it was this particular client to whom it has to send back that response and it will simply send that send that response to him like that so this is how a um, proxy server works and now um, you might be thinking like where we may need a proxy server right so there are many different scenarios where we may need a proxy server a very simple example is like um, any big organization where we have uh, a network with many users um, so uh, what we may need there is like we may want to control the access of the users in the network to some uh, particular content on the internet so for that we can use a proxy server which decides which requests can pass through this network and which cannot so in this way you will be able to control the access of your users to the content on the web right so in that way um, uh, big organizations use that and um, this is simply a case of a firewall actually right and other than that you can also use a proxy server for your personal use like in the case where we where you may not want to expose your um, public IP address to any web server so in that case you use a proxy server so the web server only knows that the request has come from any uh, uh, or from the IP address of the proxy server itself not your actual IP address and in that way your anonymity will be maintained okay so like that there are many ways you can use a proxy server and now um, let's come back to the main question of this video which is how we can send um, a HTTP request through a proxy server using Python Okay, so for doing that, first of all, we need a proxy server and there are many websites on the web which, you pro which can provide you with a free proxy server. So this is one of those websites, sslproxies.org and if you just um, scroll down a bit, you can find a list of the free, pro free proxy servers which they provide and I'm just going to copy the IP address and port number of one of them. Um, and now uh, it's time to import the requests library. And then you have to create a proxies dictionary. So the format of the proxies dictionary is like um, the key is the type of uh, HTTP request that you're gonna make. Like it's HTTP, HTTP or HTTPS like that. Okay. So I'm just gonna specify that I'm gonna send um, the request through an HTTPS connection, let's say, and then um, the proxy server that I'll be using for this particular type of request is this one. So let's say if you have any URL for, on which you will be sending a request through a very simple HTTP connection only, for that also you can specify some other um, so some other proxy server or you can just simply copy this one as well. There is no problem with that. Okay. So like this. 
I have specified my uh, proxies dictionary and now uh, let me specify the URL to which I'll be sending the request so now uh, so today I'll be sending the um, my request to a very simple API call HTTP bin dot org slash IP so this particular API will return in the response the IP address from which the request has been received so this will help me to track like if my proxy server is actually working or not so now first of all let me send a request to this particular uh, API without any proxy server so I will just do request.get URL and then I'll just try to print r.json so let's see what is the output so look at that it's 47.31.123.243 so it is actually the public IP address of the internet connection I'm currently in okay the network connection I'm currently in and now let me use the proxies dictionary as a parameter while sending this request so now I'll be using a proxy server while I'm sending this request so let's try to check what response do we get from this API when we use a proxy server and look at that we get a different response the IP address obtained is different it's 191.252.196.160 which is exactly equal to the um, IP address of the proxy server so now we understand that um, the web server is uh, web server is assuming that the request has actually come from my proxy server okay not my public IP address so in this way I am able to send an HTTP request through a proxy server to my desired web server okay so this is how it works and I hope it is clear and if you still have any doubts you can post them in the comment section below that's it from this video um, thanks for watching